Guess who's back? It's it's just me. With some more Sewer Yavar Man the first. We have usurpated the throne of the Khmer Empire, and now let's quell some rebellions. Ascent to power does not come easily. Once the head of one beast is removed, three spring to take its place. Thus it was with Suya Varman's enemies. Rebel factions sprung up to the north, east, and south of Angkor. Legions of disgruntled soldiers marched on the city, threatening to topple Suya That Suya map Varman is not correct. Just as quickly as he had ascended to power. The most dangerous rebel faction was led by Jayaviravan, a warlord from Malaysia with a distant claim to the throne. Advancing from the south at a rapid pace, he acquired much support from the local populace. Suya Varman had to act quickly. The rebel forces, were they to unite, would present quite a challenge to an army that had only recently emerged victorious from a grueling campaign. There was precious little time to spare. All right, defeat, well, the rebels. There are three of them. Um, conquer each enemy town by destroying the main fortification in each. Depending on the size of this town, this will be either a tower or castles. Uh, restraint to the castle age would have a pop limit of two hundo. Do not neglect a navy. Attacks will arrive from all sides. Do not destroy what you can conquer. And uh, the armies of various rebel groups have strengths and weaknesses. Uh, all of which can be solved by uh, elephants. So we are over here in the Khmer Empire to the west. We actually have a ton to work with, lots of resources, a huge army already. Uh, and there's like a bajillion relics on this map too. Uh, the northern rebels, guess what? They're in the north. The eastern rebels, guess what? They're in the east. And uh, Jaya Virar... Jaya Viravarman... Jaya Viravarman's army <laughs> is to the south. So yeah, we obviously have a lot to do and not a lot of time. Um, first things first, we're going to get some extra centers of township established. It's freaking like one of every unit scattered everywhere. Yeah, like I said, like we just have two relics just in our base. Just sure, why not? Get up to four TCs. Um. Okay, honestly, this isn't the worst TC spot in the world. Okay, um, so at least get a scout to scout. So this one is kind of about sniping, uh, like specific fortifications. But we already have so many resources that it shouldn't, uh, like, there's no reason to delay. Like, when we destroy this tower, we'll get, uh, that little bit of village, and since all the enemies have infinite resources, uh, like, it's not even, like, about getting these production buildings, it's just about denying them of having the production buildings. Oh yeah, there's another relic there. Like I said, there are freaking relics everywhere on this map. We do get attacked from all sides, so it would behoove us to... Of course, random spearmen over here, why not? 
This is why we get War Galley. But yeah, we're gonna want a wall. Because the Khmer Empire is a big old landlocked empire. Well, not landlocked, but it is primarily a terrestrial empire. It's not a thalassocracy. That one comes later in a couple campaign scenarios. Anyway, we, we didn't really start with, like, the most villagers in the world. Well, like, we only started with, like, 10 or so, you know, compared to our 40, 50 army. So now that we have expended most of our starting resources and military, it's just going to be a little bit of a boom fest. Uh, we do not have a university. Send this guy back. Kind of weird that we have this base, but it's like not walled. Um, let's do that and that. Oh, if I can save this tower, that'd be nice. Because Khmer do get heated shot on. Pretty sure. I am, like, mildly sure. Well, I don't want to mess this up. Yep. Yep. Nope. Oh. Like, we're going to have four relics already. So many freaking relics, man. No! No! I mean, I guess we could try and hunt the the rhinos, but that's eh, more effort than it's worth. We have more local villagers that we can trade with here, but it's a really crappy trade route. I guess we might as well hunt the rhinos. Just so long as they're not the endangered type of rhinos. That would not be good. Oh, this is weird. Like, the tower's part of our wall. Whoa, how did you get over there, Mr. Random Battle Elephant? Like, controlling the Mekong isn't super important for, like, strategic value. It's just, like, really annoying if they bombard you from the shoreline. Repair! That's a rather dopey looking wall. Yeah, like her village account's not that great. Only at like fifty seven. Good, he did shot. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, now that is a problem. Let's 
Get some scorpions. I wonder if it's worth it just to go even 5 TCs. Because you start with a lot of resources, but not that many villagers. And now to make a big ol' farming community. Nope. Happy farming community. Scorpions will be nice against the infantry, of course. Let's also get some extra stables. Scorpions are doing work. And with Khmer, you're going to want more villagers. Wait, I actually get the, that number of farms exactly right. That was complete dumb luck. Simulator, my favorite game. Not even being sarcastic, <laughs> as I'm sure many of you know. Is not what I intended. Come on, scorpions, show me your bonus damage. Well, that's not great. The gall of these rebels attacking me. We are stuck in the Castle Age, which is not super awesome. But regardless, Battle Elephants are so good that uh, we don't really need to worry all that much. Also should get some Rams a-going. Let's also get a, another Siege Workshop. That'd Oh, Ballista Elephants. Nice meme. Look at this beautiful farming community. So, uh, plan... Maintain some amount of water control was a bit of a bust, but that's okay. You have Khmer Battle Elephants, and that's all you need in life. It's just going to ring this whole area with towers. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? Yeah, like these towers with heated shot should hold off an enormous amount of work alleys, especially with masonry. It feels when you uh, actually research all the university upgrades. Anyway, the uh, northern and eastern rebels are both Khmer, uh, but the west, er, not the western, we're in the west. Uh, the southern rebels are actually Malay, so their elephants aren't as good. These guys actually do not have masonry. So, uh, just build a castle. Oh, hello. Let's get some more gold miners. Dash feels very strongly about more gold miners. Oh, that never got completed for some reason. Anyway, how's Operation Destroy the Castle going? There we go. Now all the buildings should become mine. All the buildings. There we go. <laughs> These guys convert one of my towers? What, what? Why can I not click on... They converted one of my towers! It's like in that, uh, the Yodit scenario where they were just constantly converting my villagers. Okay. Um, so there's one more. Uh, each, each enemy has three locations that you have to besiege. So I think this should be enough elephants to go in for a smash and grab. While we prepare our other elephantine forces. to start attacking the Eastern Rebels, because we'll go for Jaya... Jaya Viravarman. Jaya Viravarman. Jaya Viravarman. <laughs> yeah, that, that one doesn't roll off the tongue for an English speaker. Maybe maybe you Germans will have a an easier time what with your... and the Khmer's shared affinity for incredibly long words. <laughs> They should go down without too much problem. Because I think... Yeah, elephants will get extra bonus damage versus stone defense, I believe. And that should be the Northern Rebels. Done and dusted. Please forgive us for our rash rebellion. Very rash. Very rebellion. Anyway, now we have like a bajillion resources, you know, give or take. So, more elephants. Hooray, 200 pop limit. I mean, why make rams? We could just make elephants! They're like fast rams! These guys don't have masonry either. Feels good, man. Oh, whoops.
so this was the small base for orange. You know, each one has a small base with a guard tower, a medium base with a fortified tower, and a big base with a castle. It feels when you're a sailor and you're just getting trampled by an elephant. Well, these are done just in time. When you just have so many resources. Yeah, I don't really care. Whoop. Here's the medium base, obviously, so let's just kill this tower. Here, there we go. Oh, fail rally point. Okay, 41 fully upgraded Castle Age battle elephants. That should be plenty. Obviously, the Eastern Rebels' main base is in the East. Oh, no theocracy for you, plebs. Anyway, let's try and snipe as many of these monks, because uh, obviously they're going to be the most annoying. Oh, damn, they actually have a lot of elephants here. Yeah, I definitely need these elephant reinforcements. Oh, whoops. Is this just gray? This is just gray, happily trading. Right, that one's ours. Only have a few left. Yeah, masonry makes would make the whole thing way more annoying because of the not only the increased HP, obviously, but the extra armor as well. So, like, even though this scenario seems like a big, epic, expansive one, it really isn't. Just because you already start with so much and only have to snipe specific buildings. Like, once this castle's gone, I think the Eastern Rebels should resign. I know Yellow's main base is down here somewhere. Oh, whoops. Here's the tower for Yellow's uh, medium base. I guess we just have to clean up the rest of these uh, horses. Yep. Uh, let's just castle drop them. Start going towards Yellow's main base. Here's Yellow's medium base. Yeah, I just have so many resources. And you're just being so freaking efficient. Wait, where am I get converted? Yellow doesn't make monks, I thought. Maybe they do. Is able to attack on every front at once. Real question though, why is Orange still in the game? Do I really need to kill these ships? Or sink these ships, I suppose. Don't I have another dock somewhere? So I do. Wait, this is yellow. Do I have to send troops? I am unclear.
Maybe they're not triggered to be defeated until they, you like reach a certain threshold of like how few units they have. Like military units. That would have to be my guess. Why were some of the farms converted, but not all of them? That's weird. I'm trying to think. Most campaigns have one achievement in them. Sorry, Varman, one doesn't, two doesn't, three doesn't. Oh, five, five. Uh, Nirvana Pada. Once you get to that video, um, I'll, I'll try and do the achievement for you guys. That one, it's not that hard, but I don't know. You just have to collect all the relics on the map, and there's like 10 or 11 or something. I mean, I guess I have to send some more elephants up this way or something? Patrol in the general direction of the enemy. True elephant micro. The mild annoyance of these guys knows no bounds. Oh yeah, Jayavarman, Jayavaravaraman himself is is hanging around here. He's a Krambit warrior hero. It's like right here. If I can click on him, there he is. And there he goes. Oh, how'd you guys get there? There goes Jayavarvarman. I will never pronounce that right. I guess he has a relic too. Looks like we got all the other ones. We'll have to see after the uh, game is over though. I guess this is this base we don't actually can get control over it. Oh, maybe you do. Eastern Rebels still here. Wait, is it because they converted this archery range? Maybe it's like they have, when they have no military buildings or something. I'm so confused as to why these guys haven't resigned. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's because they converted the archery range. <laughs> we will fight you no more. And that should be it, I think. Even got top score at the end against the infinite resources. Yeah, just glancing at the minimap, we didn't miss any of the relics except for uh, this one way down here. So yeah, you could just you can just pick up four relics almost instantly. I'm sure that helped our gold income a ton. Humans are interesting creatures. At times, they display incredible brilliance, and yet at others, they behave like obstinate fools. One can only wonder at the folly that caused the rebel factions to not coordinate their forces. A bundle of sticks is difficult to break, but individual twigs snap with ease. Soya Varman's victory assured that his soldiers would not forget this lesson. Yeah. Nice KD as usual. Yeah, that's a lot of relic gold income. 
<laughs> Not the hardest scenario in the world. Anyway, that will be Quelling the Rebellion. Next up will be a dangerous mission. See you guys then.